Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It just turned 1.12 p.m. according to my clock radio on Saturday, February 12, 2011. And in this video, um, I want to share something kind of neat with you guys. You know, I shared the real Ghostbusters um, table cover last time. Well, check this out. This is a Back to the Future 200 year calendar. Uh, it's Back to the Future Part 3, actually. Uh, my mom put this in uh, like a protective thing. It's actually just this fold up thing that's coming apart. Might have been coming apart when I found it for all that I know. Well, not that, not, I, I didn't find it, but I'll get to that in a bit. Anyway, yeah, 200 year calendar. There are 14 mini uh, calendars in here. Um, there's eight on one side. One of them was penned out like this for whatever reason uh, when it was found. But uh, yeah, eight on one side, six on the other. And next to the calendars, um, here there's there's a chart telling you which calendar to use for which year so you look at the year and um, you have to use the calendar whose number appears next to the year uh, this was made by Western Union it's kind of a tie-in for uh, back to the future part three you know like a little cross promo promotional type of thing if you recall watching part three, the Western Union guy shows up. Um, yeah, so th this is uh, pretty neat. Um, my friend Mike found this in uh, middle school when we were in middle school. Um, I'll try to narrow down the date. Um, Let's see, we met at the end of sixth grade in like in May of 1990 um, at like a school party or something. Um, I saw him again in, around the beginning of seventh grade. I, I was sitting in the cafeteria with someone, I forget who, and then I hear a voice behind me saying, well, looky what we have here. And it was Mike. Now, obviously, by using that line, he was back to the future fan by then, of course. Um, so, I, I believe he found this when we were in seventh grade. That was the 1990-1991 school year. Um, he said he found this on the floor, and he was like, let's head back to the future on it. So, naturally, I picked it up, and he gave this to me. Now, this was before, you know calendar.com or whatever uh, this was probably before the world wide web even uh, debuted so this was actually a pretty handy thing to have um, yeah uh, calendar starts out in 1885 and it goes to 2085 uh, let's see one two Yeah, um, it, it's amazing that 200 years can, uh, uses only like 14 calendars. It's pretty neat. I didn't know that. What? Well, well, actually, technically, it's, uh, it's not a 200 year calendar, it's a 201 year calendar. But, uh, yeah. Really neat. So, Mike? Well, once again, thanks, man. And, um, yeah, I'm going to continue to hold on to this. So, that's all that I wanted to share with you. And, um, that's it. Thanks for watching.